Hi everyone. Today we are going to solve chapter number 7, a square and rectangle, the last chapter of our book 4A. So let's start worksheet number 1, page number 131, a square and rectangles. Here we have to identify the square and rectangles, then we have to take this column. Put a tick for the sentences that are true for each figure. So, figure A, B, C, D, E. We have total 5 figures. Now, we are going to read the statements and then we are going to take the answers. It has 4 sides. Figure A, 1, 2, 3, 4. Figure B, 1, 2, 3, 4. Figure C, 1, 2, 3, 4. D and E. So, all the figures are having 4 sides. So, we are going to take all the four, 5 columns. Now, all sides are the same length. Figure A, same length. Figure B, same length. Figure C, it's not same, so we are not going to take here. Figure D, same. Figure E is not same, so we are not going to take here. Next is, the opposite sides are parallel to each other. So, figure A, opposite sides are equal. Figure B, opposite sides are equal. Figure C is not equal. Figure D, opposite sides are equal. And figure E is not equal. It has four angles. Here you can see we have four angles here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So all the figures are having four angles. So, we are going to take all the statements. Number 4 is all four angles are equal to 90 degree. So, number A is not equal to 90 degree because it is not straight. So, we are not going to take here. Number B is 90 degree. Number C is not 90 degree. Number D is 90 degree. The lines are straight. And number E is not 90 degree. It is a square. The only squares in these five figures is figure B, it is a square, and figure D, it's also a square. So, this is the explanation of page number 131. Now, move on to page number 132. Here, we have to again put the tick to each statement. Now, here we are going to identify the figure rectangle. On the previous page, we are identifying the figure square. So, it has four sides. Yes, all the figures are having four sides. The opposite sides are equal in length. Yes, 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 yes and no. So, we are not going to take here. The opposite sides are parallel to each other. All the opposite sides are parallel to each other except E. It has four angles. Four angles. Four angles, four angles. Both are having no angles. All four angles are 90 degree. 90, 90, 90, 90. It is a rectangle. Figure A is rectangle and figure D is rectangle. Page number 133. So here we have to solve. Look at the figure in question 3 to 6 and fill in the blanks. Figure A, B, C, D is a square. A, B, C, D. So, the length of A, B is, if the length of A and D is 5 cm, then the length of A and B is also 5 cm. Because all the sides of a square are equal. A, D is perpendicular. This is the symbol of perpendicular. Perpendicular means the lines which interact with each other. So, A and D is perpendicular to here is A and D. It is perpendicular to D and C. Angle B, D, C. Angle B, D, C is 45. We can also find angle B, D, C. The complete angle is 90 degree. So, 90 minus 45 is 45. So, angle B, D, C is 45. Same as it is we are going to solve here. Number 4, again a square. The length of the FG is 8 cm because all the sides are equal. 
EF is parallel. This is the symbol of parallel. The two lines which are equal to each other but cannot connect. So EF is parallel to HG and EH is parallel to FG. Angle E is, we have to find this angle. So we are going to subtract 90 with 56. Answer is 34. So angle E is 34. Page number 134. Number 5. Here we are having the shape rectangle PQRS. The length of QR is QRS. The opposite sides are equal in rectangle. So it is 3. And the length of RS is 7. PS is perpendicular to SR. PS, SR. And QR is perpendicular to RS. Angle PRS is equals to 23. 90 minus 67 is 23. Figure WXYZ is a rectangle. The length of XY is 4. Opposite sides are equal. The length of WX is 7. Opposite sides are equal. WZ is parallel to WZ is parallel to XY. YZ is parallel to WX. Angle Z is 36. 90 minus 54 is 36. Page number 135. On page number 135, we are having worksheet 2. Drawing a square and rectangles. Half of the shape is already drawn. We have to draw the remaining lines. So here we draw the remaining lines of a square. Here we draw the remaining lines of rectangle. Page number 136. Figure EFG is a square. The length of its side is 6 cm. Draw and label the figure. So here we have to draw the square. As we all know that all the four sides of a square are equal. So we are going to draw the line of 6 cm. By using the scale. Here you can see we are using the scale. This side is centimeter. Here you can see centimeter is written here. CM. So we are going to this side. So we are going to draw the line from the zero. Here is the point of zero. Starting from this side, from 0 to 6, we are going to draw the line like we are placing the scale here. And here we are going to draw from 0 to 6. So first we are going to mark two dots. Then we are going to draw the line and make a square like this. Same as it is, we have to draw the rectangle. In rectangle, Opposite sides are equal. So we are going to draw these two sides 5 cm and these two sides with 9 cm. Same as it is, page number 137. Here we have a square. One line is already drawn. So we are going to follow the line and draw the square with 5 cm. Because this line is 5 cm. First we are going to measure this line with the scale. And then we find that this line is 5 cm. So we have to draw the remaining three lines with the 5 cm because the square is having all the sides equal. Page number 138. On page number 138 here we have to mind work out from a rectangle using all the squares given. Cut and paste the squares in the space given below. Here we have to cut this side and we have to cut these four squares and then place the square like this that we can make a big rectangle. So when we place all these squares in this form, we can get a big rectangle. Page number 139. Page number 139 is a review of chapter 7. Look at the square and complete the sentences. Here is a square. A square is having four equal side. AB is equals to DC equal and AD is equals to BC. The opposite sides of a square are parallel, AB, DC, AD and BC. A square has four angles, 1, 2, 3, 4. All its sides are equal to 90 degree, A, B, C, D, all the angles are 360. Page number 140, here we have a rectangle has four sides, its opposite sides are as the same, 
PS and QR, PS, QR, then SR and PQ. The opposite sides are equally parallel. PQ is parallel to SR, PS is parallel to QR. All rectangle has four angles. All its angles are equal to 90. PQRS is 36, 360 degree. Page number 141. Again, we have to find the angle A. So we are going to subtract 90 and 25. So we get the answer 65. It means the angle A is 65. Same as it is, we have to find the angle EFG. So 90 minus 37 is 53. Here we have to draw the square in the grid given. So we have one line is already given. We have to draw the remaining lines by measuring the line. Here we have to figure A, B, C, D is a square with the side of 8 cm. You have to draw the 8 cm line of square. Here we have K, L, M, N is a rectangle. Its length is 6 cm and breadth is 2 cm. So 2 cm and 6 cm. Draw a label figure K, M, L, N. This is rectangle. So this is the last page of your chapter number 7 book 4a soon we are going to start book 4b